Missouri at the famous Hunton Grounds property. Today is uh, Friday, November 17th. I just drove in uh, down to Stevens yesterday. Met with some of the guys. Uh, Wendell's here. Uh, Jeremy's here. Colby's coming a little bit later today. And uh, we're out hunting. It's a beautiful morning. I've seen a doe and a couple fawns already. But uh, there's a couple good bucks using this plot in the mornings. They were in here two mornings ago. And then uh, Papa Fuller came in here yesterday and he shot a nice buck. Um, that was a surprise deer. Didn't have any pictures of that one. but I'm going to be here through the weekend. We're going to hope to get a buck and a doe. Maybe a couple does. We'll see. No reception on my phone, so I can't keep track of the other guys, see what's going on. But, we're going to sit it out here for a few hours, see what happens. We're back in the blind. Had to wait till it got a little lighter out to do an interview. Today is the second day in Missouri. It's uh, Saturday, November 18th. And we had a little bit of a cold front come in last night. It was, I think it was 54 when I hunted yesterday morning. And it's 30 today. And um, everything was pretty frosty. But calm. But we've had... Uh, pretty good action already this morning. I had a, a a doe and two fawns come through and they came through pretty quick um, and they got to the end of the plot over here maybe a hundred yards and they stopped and looked back so uh, it's raining in here. <laughs> um, I stopped and looked back but I kept looking nothing was coming but uh, um, so they took off and maybe 15 minutes later I could hear something coming over here and um, I look and there's a, a seven point that we've got on camera here actually a, a deer I saw yesterday and he came through and went down to the end of the plot where they were and then scooted out the opposite way that they went so he's gonna have a an afternoon or a morning trying to find uh, his doe there but uh, then I had uh, uh, a doe in a single fawn come through so it's been pretty good but sun's coming up it's warming up my my blind is starting to thaw out a little bit but uh, like I said it's it's a beautiful day uh, rising pressure it's it's not a cloud in the sky and then, it just feels good, so feels good to be in Missouri with a bunch of my buddies, hunting with Stephen and Scotty, and Wendell, Jeremy, Colby. Colby smacked a big one last night, so uh, Papa Fuller got one on Thursday. So we're uh, doing our best to make things happen here. So hopefully, I can get one down soon.
fuck down, baby. Whew. Uh, we shot this buck a little over an hour ago. I gave it a bunch of time and uh, uh, I had another buck come into the plot so I was watching him and doing some filming and um, I'm down in kind of in a creek bed basically down in a hole and I don't have any reception so I uh, walked back to the truck and I went for a drive up to the top of a big hill <laughs> so I could text the guys and let them know um, to get over here for a tracking party so um, uh, it is pretty early. It's only about a little after nine right now. I shot the buck right about eight o'clock, but um, I don't want to wreck their hunts, so I told them just to wait, finish their hunts, and then meet me here. So uh, we might be waiting a couple hours, but no big deal. Um, when you got a group of guys, it's just fun to do it all together. You know, hunting is such a solo sport, uh, or at least for me. And 95% of the deer that I shoot, I track and recover by myself. And it's just so much fun when you can get a group of people together and just enjoy deer camp. And that's exactly what this is. So I'm going to wait for them to get here and we can all enjoy it together. So, um, yeah, it's about as nice a day as you can get. Bluebird skies. Uh, it's warming up fast. The sun is rising and there's no wind and it's just a great day to be alive so we're gonna enjoy our saturday here uh we've got a party of people coming to stephen's house this afternoon um we're gonna make some food and have some fun and um share some stories so we're gonna get this uh wait for the guys get him tracked and get some pictures taken and get him back to the house so we'll see you there Got everybody. What kind of buck? He had four and a spike. Oh, was he decent? No. Oh, just a little thing. <laughs> okay. It's a freak buck. Yeah. Freak spike. Chris is still in nap mode. You can tell. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, no, guys, sorry. I've been sleeping there for hours. Which way you run, Chris? Uh, he took off this way. Oh, that's awesome. I think he was right here. Where's the blood? Right here, all right here. Oh, yeah. There's blood in the Hey, Chris, this looks like you shot him hours ago. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. I don't know what time is it now. 11.30. Yeah. <laughs> what time do you shoot him? Eight. Eight. Where did he go back in the woods at? Right over there. Oh. There's blood right there on that old. There you go. I saw him while I was up. Chris, that's a good deer. He's got more mass than I thought he did. Oh my, hey brother. That's a toad, man. Holy crap. Oh wow. Way bigger than I thought. Dang. Look at the body. Yeah, we knew he was a cow, dude. Look how big that thing is. He's heavy. That's a cool deer. He didn't go far at all. He could have seen him from the blind. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's awesome. He, that's look how player. big he is. He's got a body on him. Jeez, dude. Well, congrats. That's awesome. Thank you. I'm gonna start over here. <laughs> Look at those dudes. Working Colby's deer. And here's Chris. 
Take it away, Chris. Well, we just got back to Steven's house. Uh, shot this guy this morning a few hours ago, but waited there for all the guys to get there. That's deer camp, so we gotta do the track and everything together. Um, he's a heavy beast, but we're pretty excited to finally get one. It's been a while. Um, we're going to get him dressed out here. He's a tank of a buck, like literally the biggest bodied buck I've ever seen taken off any of our properties. And he's run down, so. Yeah, he's definitely been rutting. He's got some hair missing and. Just under 200 with that after being run down already. Yep. And that's in Southwest Missouri in the Ozarks. Pretty crazy. He's a great buck and I'm excited to have him. Well, we're excited that you finally got one here. It's been a while. It's been, it been. 2019 you killed your buck down here? I did, yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's been four years. And heck of a buck too. So. Beast of a buck, interested to see how old he is, so. Well, I had a better than average day, so you do as well. <laughs> All right. Leave them to the work, and they're working up there. I love how we leave Colby alone over there. Oh,